Welcome everyone, Rick and Deb here, Rick and Deb's Awesome Adventures. We are in Oklahoma City this morning. It's just a little bit after 11, let me see, 11.20, and the recording of this date, it is February the 10th, 2022. We are at the Cowboy History, Cowboy Museum, basically, here in Oklahoma City. I know it's been a while, but we had some very, very cold weather, snow, and all that, so we finally got some nice days. We thought we'd get out for a little bit, so if you're not doing anything, come on along and join us this morning. Okay, we're going to start the tour, but I got to show you something here first. This is absolutely beautiful. Indian on a horse. Indian warrior on a horse. Native American on a horse this morning. Let me go down and show you some, just walk, kind of walk around here for a little bit, show you some of these water displays over here. It's really echoey in here, so I hope this is going to come out all right on the video. It's really not all that cold out this morning or chilly or whatever. You can go outside. We may do that here after a while. But I'm just going to show you this, these water displays here. This is a very large museum, and it normally takes two to three hours to go through it. I'm not going to, obviously, I'm not going to do the whole museum, but we'll try to show you some interesting areas here this morning. I thought this would be something different other than going to zoos. Well, it seems like we go to zoos a lot, but we have a membership to the Oklahoma City Museum. And that's why we go a lot. I mean, Oklahoma City Zoo, I'm sorry. We have a membership to the Oklahoma City Zoo here. And so that's why we go to zoos quite often. But right now, the Oklahoma City Zoo is under major renovations. And it's going to take, oh gosh, it could take, it could take a year or two to get all that construction work done. I'm using my camcorder this morning because I've not used it for a long time. So it might be better for this setting. The action camera, don't do too good indoors. It's mainly meant for outdoors. So. I thought we'd try this this morning. Okay, let's work our way on down here a little bit. Wells Fargo and Company, Stagecoach. Okay. I'm not surprised there's a lot of people here for a Thursday morning. That, that's okay. People getting out and enjoying themselves, that's fine. It's been, I think, three years since we've been here. Oh, okay, well, I had to ask if uh, taping and photography was allowed. He said it is. Matter of fact, there was one section of the museum where photography was not allowed, but they've since changed. That was two years ago. Well, it's been like three years since we've been here. So he said, now there's no place where uh, videos or photography are not allowed. They're allowed everywhere now, which I think that's really cool. Here's an old vintage sign, the Cowboy Hall of Fame. That's pretty cool. Here's a banner, National Cowboy Hall of Fame. That's what I remember it as. Now, I know they've changed the name of it, but basically it's the same museum. Here's some old signage. Looks like an old drive-in. Winchester Drive-In. 
That's some old movies there. Like I said earlier, this is a very large museum, so I'm just going to try to pick and choose. That may be difficult to do because all of this museum is really, really nice. But there's no way I'm going to do a two or three hour video. So we'll just kind of walk around here a little bit. And now here's another really, I'm going to go down this other side here in a minute. Here's another magnificent statue. This has exhibition wings, galleries, education center. I mean, this has a lot of different areas in it, but we're going to try to hit the highlights, maybe, hopefully this morning. Here's a gallery right here. Um, but look at that. I think this is supposed to be a panther. Let me see here. But anyway, we might go down through this way, it's the exhibition wing. We might go down this way. Here's a gentleman reading. Oh, this is Edward Gaylord. I'm sorry, Edward Gaylord. Um, served as board member of the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum, public opening in 1965, and okay, just a little bit of information on that. Let's go back down this way, then we may go down through this exhibition hall here. Wigwam Motel. That's pretty cool. Yellowstone Park. That's how they used to camp out back in the day. Way back in the day. And I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Oh, it says somewhere. Oh, that is a summer girls camp stove. That's what that is. Okay. Donut hole. One of the people that we watch, vloggers we watch, I think a couple of them, they've been to this location right here. Okay, well, we may go down this ex exhibition hall here in just a minute. Come on, just do a panoramic view here of where we're at. Okay, we're walking down the exhibition hall. Let's go in here just real quick while we're here. Another statue. I just kind of swing around here a little bit. A lot of really nice paintings. Hmm. 
Wow, look at this. This is really cool. Huh. Some sculptures on top of this huge desk. Maybe this is what they sculptured on. Fetchin' the Carver. Okay. This must have been where, like a, maybe a, uh, supposed to look like this might have been where this individual did his carvings or whatever. Here's another statue of a cowboy and a horse. Looks like the horse might be trying to buck a little bit for some reason. These rooms just go on and on and on. Oh, look at those clouds. Looks like they're boiling up there now. Cowboy on a cattle drive, it looks like. Let me kind of get a little bit closer. Oh, those clouds are really cool. Is that getting ready to be a storm building there? Might be. Now, I'm not sure what this is. I can't really make anything out of it. Okay, well, let's go on. I got to look at this saddle. It's a really beautiful saddle here. And I assume that's a Grand Canyon portrait or painting of the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. Really beautiful. This saddle, though, oh my goodness. Mother Hubbard's saddle. Uh, Chuck Storms. Let's take a, a peek at this. Is that beautiful or what? That is absolutely beautiful. Oh, there's a room in here with weapons. Fine American firearms. It's kind of dark in here. We'll see if we can look at part of these anyway. Lots and lots of guns. I was in the military. The, we were always taught, don't never call them guns. <laughs> it's kind of funny. They had a reason why, but I really can't explain that right now. Very nice though, very nice collection. We were always taught to call these weapons and not guns. Here's a black powder. You can see where the where they would load up their pellets and their they had the gunpowder there and that's pretty these are all black powder. Just a regular little kit. Everything you'd need. That's really cool. And all kinds of revolvers. These are really very large. That top one there is a, a uh, 44 
caliber. Those are very, 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 oops, sorry about that. Powerful weapon. Here's some little pistols, cartridge revolvers, <clears throat> oh my goodness, here's another huge, oops, sorry, um, look at this one here, this is breech loading cartridge revolver, caliber 38, Winchester centerfire, yeah, one huge revolver now, my goodness. There's a 45, that metal one there. There's a 44 long rim fire right there, the first one, top one there. There's a pearl handled. And this is also a 44. Smith and Wesson, this is the very last one down here. Oh my gosh, this is a really nice collection. And it's really dark in here, I don't believe. Here, this one. One, two, three. This is a 32 rimfire. This one right here in the middle of your screen. This with this one right here, this middle one, it's uh, this one right here. Let's see if I can get my finger in here. Uh, it's a 44 caliber. Okay. Okay, very, very beautiful weapons. Well, we got most of them in there. Like I say, I'm just going to try to highlight some, a few areas and today. Okay, we're going to get another room. I'll show you some of these. These are really cool. There's some bison, a bear. Uh, elk, and of course, that a mountain, mountain goat or something. And there's a pretty cool rifle up there. Let's go on over here. These are really very, very detailed. Very nice. Looks like paint and painting set. You got your paint and a, your uh, brushes and everything.
I remember this one. I always thought this was so cool. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a maze. Can he get kind of turned around in all these rooms? White Eagle. Last drop of water for the horse. Wagon cook. Cool. This looks so real. Looks like you'd be looking out your own window there. Tom Lovell Studio. Really very neat. Yes, it is. Hmm, okay. Okay, technically the name of this particular gallery is the Roberta Elridge Miller Gallery honoring Tom Lovell. Lovell. Okay. Looks like this would have been a, a rope or somebody that, see all the ropes and the different things they would use. And of course my favorite, the eagle, white-headed eagle. otherwise known as the bald eagle. White tail deer. Here's a 
bison. And here's an old chest. And this, another sculpture, statue. Um, oh, okay. This would be the other one. Those are cloth. That's what they do. Why don't you do those batteries back? They work from the window. They were bent. Okay, these are Lewis and Clark. The famous explorers, of course. Very beautifully done. This is really beautiful. Okay, we're going to continue on. This is a chuck wagon. Honestly, I, this, just, this just goes on and on and on and on and on. Wow, that's really cool. Okay. Well, this is the... Uh, Museum of the Natural Front of the Frontier West Gallery. Okay. Yeah, I remember this too. This would have been what your frontiersmen, of course, what they would have worn, weapons they would have used. Oh, howdy. That's a big old beaver. Oh, here's an old, oh, look at that Gatlin gun. I believe that's what those are called, battery gun. Um, Gatling battery gun magazine. Look at this. Very powerful weapon.
U.S. Infantry. Hats are really cool. Helmets and U.S. Dragoons. Hmm. Here's the cavalry. Life in the field. A Sibley tent stove. Okay. Uniforms they would have worn. Okay. Okay. Um. Line officers. Boy, little boots. Little sharp looking uniforms. Enlisted men. Army women. Okay. Buffalo soldiers. Scouts. Hmm. I just love their uniforms back then. I thought they were really cool. United States Cavalry. And of course the infantry. Wow. Okay. This is hunting in the American West. We've got individual trying to Train another individual how to hunt. Boy, look at that moose. This is just lined with 
all kinds of animals up here. more more weapons what about that coat why about that keep you warm winter overcoat that thing's huge bison up there. This is the American, American rodeo section. This kind of shows you just all that rodeos. Hmm. That's what I mean. This museum is just absolutely huge. to get all of it. Here, cowboy hats, long sleeve shirts and cowboy boots required. kind of saddles and boy what you said about Well, you know, no one in, in permitted arena during slack or performances unless dressed in western jeans, boots, cowboy hats, and long sleeve shirts. Okay.
Oh, here's a the movie theater. Now showing Western performers. Oh, Hattie. Some of these are Tom Mix, Harry Carey uh, Sr., and then we've got William Hart, and oh gosh, there's just a whole kind of them. And of course, there's Will Rogers. We've been to his museum too um, here in Oklahoma. Will Rogers Museum. There's a movie, a little movie going on in there. But I mean, this is just crazy. This just goes, okay, here you go. You got Gene Autry down here. And then you've got Roy Rogers and Dale Evans. From uh, Gunsmoke, Matt Dillon, James Arnaz, of course, and Ken Curtis played Festus uh, there on Gunsmoke. And I think that was a uh, Oh, look at those boots. Oh, yeah, real, oh, look at that outfit. Oh, that's sharp. Melbourne Stone, of course, played Doc, I do believe. Dale Robertson. That looks like Burt Lancaster. I'm sorry, Kirk Douglas. That's Kirk Douglas. I'm sorry, that's Kirk Douglas. Glenn Ford. And that Slim Pickens and Ben Johnson. We've been to that museum too, and they're on Pasca. That's the suit that uh, Robert Redford wore. Oh, that's a fancy suit. Oh my goodness, this just goes. More actors and actresses. Gary Cooper right there. Randolph Scott. Joel McCray, here's Barbara Stanwyck, of course, played in, uh, um, oh gosh, <sighs> oh my mind, I don't know, I can't think, oh, Queen of Montana, yeah, but she also played in the, I think the Big Valley, Big Valley, that, <laughs> that's what I was trying to think of, yeah. There's Walter Brennan. Of course, there's Festus again. Uh, 
Oh, it's really dark in here. I don't know if anything's going to pick up in here. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why they got this so dark. You can't do any lighting. So, here we can get this in memory of September 11, 2001. Okay. Well, they got some beautiful headdresses in here. Very, very talented. To create this. Interesting. Okay, this is a woman's wedding dress from 1900. Osage Tribe. Osage Tribe. Made of tan leather and glass beads from 1900. Hmm. Okay, this is yet another section. This is called Prosperity Junction. This is pretty cool. And here it's got like a little town in here. Really very cool. We're going to go check it out right now. Welcome to Prosperity Junction. Our community is a small 20-year-old cattle town located somewhere in the west, of the west at the turn of the century. The railroad, which arrived only a few years ago, has brought many changes to our community. And it's just after dusk here in Prosperity Junction. So anyway, we're going to go visit. So you got Coney Island. Club, Seven, Seven Troughs Hotel, Cafe. All right. Prosperity Junction Livery Stable. Okay, here we go. We're going to walk back in time. This is Leeway Stages. And that would be the stage right there. Again, I apologize, it's so, if they keep this so dark. It's always been this way and I really don't know why. You can't go beyond this point, but there's horses back over here. There's another, of course that's on the other side, another carriage over there. But they just keep this really, really dark. There is a, I think a little movie Baby Theater now playing one under sky, under one sky rather. Well, I don't think we've ever been back in here. Oh, I have never been in here. I didn't know this was even here.
of Grand Canyon. In human history, generations of indigenous ancestors. Connected. Well, that's really cool. I didn't know this was even here. I think we just walked on by and didn't even realize, unless this has been added. Now, we've not been here for like three years. So this could have been added. It's got this effect that makes you think you're, there's that, what's that called, that Devil's Tower or something, was that? It's like a 3D or it's like a panoramic. It makes you feel like you're really flying in a plane or something through this area. Of course, the video will probably not do that any justice, but this is just so cool. That might be that blue hole where they go, these professional divers go diving in. That's what it kind of More looks time. like. More people alive. That is just really, really cool. And they changed the West. Okay, and now we're back out in the old town here. There's a blacksmith, horseshoeing. Saddle and harness. J.J. Garrett, and look at this windmill. Here's the blacksmithing. There's the anvil and the, the air pump. The pump the air makes the, uh, they, that's what provides the, uh, that air makes it hot, makes that fire hot. Look at that big, that, that's another one where they, that pumps air into here. We've seen that in, people do that for real. That is one tall windmill. And here's the hotel, Thomas, or no, I'm sorry, Thompson House. Restaurant and hotel. Isn't that cool? They make this look so real. <clears throat> Express land and cattle. Of course, this is probably just a facade. There's probably nothing really. I mean, this shows what the front desk would have looked like, you know, where you would have checked in. <clears throat> It'd be interesting to see what is beyond these fronts. Now here's the front side of the livery stable where we just came in at. Horses and wagons to let. If you don't know what that means, it's just another word to rent. But I don't know where they got to let at. That might be Old English. I'm not sure. And here's the Newspaper. We got to get a look at this old press. And there's a copy of the paper sitting there, the dispatch. And here's where they would lay out the type. I don't know if you can see this or not. Looks like I you had a whole bunch of pages in there that you can grab one, but. It's undoubted, it's locked. But you would form your words into a frame, and then you would, when you got your page done, you would tighten it up, you'd put it on the press, you'd ink up the press, and then when it, the press came down on, the, on your frame work with your sentences and whatever, it would print off the paper. That's kind of a crude explanation, but that's how it works. Now, here's the front side. We were just over here a minute ago when we walked into Prosperity Junction. And this is Silver Dollar Saloon. By golly, you can go up and get you, get you your favorite drink. Free lunch. 
Hey, I want a free lunch. Let's go here and get a free lunch. Hey, bartender. There's an old organ. That's actually an organ that plays the music, I think. Okay, what we got up here? All kinds of bottles. Pure whiskey, golden something whiskey. Of course, they would play either gamble. They would gamble. Oh, there's a bison with looking at me. That's where they would drink and play cards. You wouldn't want nobody to cheat because you might get shot. Huh. I love that though. That's really, that's really nice. Okay, well, let's go over to U.S. Marshals. See, if you, if you mess up too bad over here, you'll end up over here. Wind up in a little tiny cell where you get some beans, maybe if you're lucky. This would be the sheriff's office. The desk and big old, look at that stove. A safe, U.S. Marshals office. Don't know how many people would get in trouble across the street there and wind up over here. And here's the shackles and the handcuffs back in the day. Look at there. And of course, pistols. Rifles. These are... Uh, 1873 sporting rifles, they are 44 caliber. Look at the size of the end of that barrel. That thing could put a hole in you big enough to, I don't know, drive a car, a truck through, I guess. And here's some of the shackles that they would use. Then here is the jail, and my wife has been very bad, so she's got to go to jail. Now what, now here you go. You are now in, oh, look, they even got the handcuffs. Boy, those are heavy too. Okay, what do you have to say for yourself, prisoner? <laughs> you're not guilty, right? You didn't do it, right? No, no. See, you're, see, you're all, you're just, same old story with you people. You know you're guilty. Never. <laughs> okay, you know what, I'm in a good mood today, so come on, we'll let you go this time, but don't do it again. <laughs> well, listen, they need some WD-40 on that. My golly, I'm the sheriff of this here town. You mess up too bad, you'll be in this iron cage. And you only get fed if I'm in a good mood, so don't make me mad. Because you won't get nothing to eat or drink. I'll oh, see you there. Oh, they got a photo studio. Got a cat. Cat wants fed. Oh, they got this door open. Now look, believe it or not, that is a camera. See the background they got? There, there's your background. And there's your camera. Oh, they put plates in there. And they'd hold up this device that had a it would send off a, um, like a spark or something, and then that would, anyway. <laughs> okay, this says law office, Philip E. Daughtry, or some sort of thing here. It says wanted cashier. That's a big old building. That's a, of course, that's a, ba oh, here you go. Fleming Mercantile. Now these were the Walmart back in the day. If you needed anything at all, you go to the mercantile and buy your wares, whatever that might be. I think they were very basic, you know, like flour, salt, uh, pepper, sugar, your staple items, in other words. All right.
Looks like that might be a little post office back there. And of course, if you had the money, look at that old stove. That's where they would play chess. Well, I bet that's a coffee grinder. And then over here, it's got fabric. Make those dresses. Oh, they even got donuts over there, I think. A little cash register. Look at all the canned goods. One of those big coffee pots up there. I tell you what, we've got one of those, not that big, uh, for our camping. And for one, maybe a little bit smaller than that smallest one up the, the third one down. I feel like it costs us like 30 bucks for that. There's your pots and your, looks like a ladle, some wooden spoons, some canned goods. Wish they'd let you go in there. I think one time they did. Of course, it's all locked up now. Let's go in the Cattleman's State Bank. And see, when you come down here on your payday, you would deposit your money. Now, here's a chapel. We'll go in there here in a minute. This is the state bank. Look at the size of that safe. Look at that. By golly, I can crack this safe. I know how to do it. See, it's going to open up any minute now. Oh well, shoot. Oh, well, that scared me. See, there's where the teller might sit. Files. Morning, oh, good morning, ma'am. Have you been here? I ain't no ma'am. No ma'am. Should we call ma'am? I ain't a ma'am. I'm not a Bunny like orders, foreign drafts, travelers' checks. You know well, we better not bother these people. They're, they are busy, so I guess we'll go on with their bank self. Well, let's go over here and go to the chapel. See, they got a chapel for the ones that messed up in the saloon and had to be thrown in the pokey. Now they got to come over here and repent. Yep. Organ's actually playing. Of course, here's the pulpit. And that might be where they had a couple of uh, choir people in the choir, maybe, maybe. There's the pews. Pretty cute little church. We probably need one in the rough and tumble days. That goes back out. We'll go this way. I like the stained glass. And here's the doctor's office. Edward L. Calhoun, MD. There's a prisoner. You need to go to church. And you need to repent. Already been there. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. You're not lying to me now. Okay, we'll take your word for it. Putting you on notice. Okay, here we go. You got little ones or you got young'uns. The young'uns got to go to church. I mean church. That too. School. Oh, look. These are called readers. These are way before my time, our time. Well, they got the Pledge of Allegiance. They've got Miss Marks, handwriting. We saw the kind of zoom in here a little bit. Handwriting. 
arithmetic. Teaching. Reading, writing, arithmetic. That's what it used to be. What is the lesson? For those desks, aren't those don't, cool? Don't. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I'm glad we walked down in here now. Of course, now we're on the outside of the museum now. Kind of give you a panoramic view. Kind of circle around here. That's just where we came from. Back in there. So now we're going to go back this way. Well, that water's so clear. Oh, there I am. Howdy! Okay, I think we're ready to go this time for sure. I uh, hope you enjoyed tour of this museum today. Hope you all have a really nice day. If you enjoy my videos, I would just ask that you would like, subscribe, and share. And as always, We will see you on the next video. So, bye for now.